What's good guys, you already know who is this, I am Carlos the Colombian guy, welcome to my YouTube channel once again, and today I would like to bring you all the latest updates about the city of Cartagena, Colombia, and if you're behind the screen and want to lose any details about the current situation in my city, please stay with me. So let me just go ahead, let me just speak facts so this intro won't take so long because the mayor of Cartagena, Dominic Turbay, he announced that they will create a tolerance zone for the city. Tolerance zone is going to be an area where the working girls can be at without nobody bothering them. We just mean like, you know, they can offer the job, you know, like they can work over there, you know, without police interrupting while they talking with clients, you know. While they are, uh, they trying to make a deal. They can do kind of like what they want over there because this area is gonna be far from the tourist area, which is you know like something that the mayor has been fighting for since he got into the power. Let's jump in the article and let's know about this. Cartagena Mayor Dometro Bay proposed creating a tolerance zone for adult service in Cartagena. In a recent interview with Caracol Radio, Cartagena Mayor Dumet Turbay addressed a sensitive issue that has sparked a controversy among local and national politicians. They proposed to establish a tolerance zone to offering adult service in the city. Turbay recalled that historically, the adult service has been present in center of the history center since as Calle la media luna there is no shortage of proofs who said talking but that offer always will be there because we are a tourist city he said the mayor addressed that his administration has been fighting criminal networks that exploit and take advantage of minors we don't want sickos in the city, but so far as adult service is concerned, this city has been slow to plan an area for this offer, he added. Turbay stressed that this debate always focuses on moral issues, nothing like that. There are people who choose this life and depend on it for their livelihood. The president announced that the territorial planning plan is currently being discussed in which it is planning to establish a special zone where the working workers can offer their service, while this activity will be prohibited in area zones at the center and Gethsemane, Turbay, who has recently been recognized as one of the mayors with the best approval rating in the country, referred his committed to be continue fighting the adult service in public space that has been recovered for the family sons at the squares in the center while ensuring the right of people who carry out this activity in their designated areas. This is the current situation for Cartagena, Colombia, that the mayor say. The mayor here already admitted, like, the city, we need a tolerance zone because we are a tourist city. And where tourists go, you know, like, this kind of areas, you know, like, is needed to be at. Because it's not a secret that a lot of foreigners, you know, they come to Colombia to require this kind of service, which is not a problem for the mayor because he already expressed that. His main problems and his main concern is like there is a lot of families that they come to Cartagena and they don't want to see this kind of environment, this kind of behaviors in the old city, in the Cloud Tower, because the Cloud Tower, I would say, is the most important area in the old city. Well, the entire old city is important, but the Cloud Tower is like the heart of, you know, of the old city because a majority of the street, they end over there at the Cloud Tower, you know what I mean? But before they would see like a lot of working girls, you know, the families that they would come into Cartagena, the Cartagenero, which is are the locals that are from uh, are the native from Cartagena, so they didn't want to see that environment over there because they know uh, 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 and they and they say that Cartagena, you know, like is it, it shouldn't be known as a you know auto service destination because we have a lot a lot to offer in Cartagena and probably you know some guys will say that this is a cab you know like Cartagena is no more than the Cloud Tower and stuff like that but it's been proved that without the Cloud Tower working like hundred percent we have still been receiving tourism in the city. Because like if you've been here before, you know how to move, you can still have a great and amazing time in towns, so, you know. This is not a secret that the mayor shoot down a lot of the main clubs in the old city, in the Clyde Tower. 
But you know, I feel like this is is something really good, and you know, like something that should be needed because, like, like he said, you know, like, like we are a tourist destination, and like you know, it's always gonna be needed, always gonna be tourists that they're gonna require this kind of service. I kind of know like where they gonna build this. I would say probably you know like the best area, the perfect area to create this tolerance zones. Of course, you know that we have a police over there. You know also security because it won't be us. It won't be inside of the tourist area. It's gonna be outside, and you know like they they need to have more security over there for tourists in case you know like something popping or something, a fire, other things. You know problem with the working girls. They be there to assist and to help. I kind of know like like they probably gonna build. Go, gonna create that where androgeno is you know they have a lot of street clubs around that area where androgeno is it's located it's gonna be maybe located at el bosque you know and when i say it's a perfect zone it's because it's like pretty dark over there it's kind of like lonely that area over there like nobody's gonna be few people are walking around that area in the night you know majority of people that go to that area they're gonna be like inside of the clubs inside of androgeno inside of the playboy club which is street club and, and next one, Roy, you know, there is another street club. I don't know what's the name. I forgot what's the name of that. But, and then, you know, like, they had the Paradise of the Marines. So, everybody that go to that area, you know, they're just going to be inside doing their thing. You know what I mean? So, like I said, you know, like, like the mayor, he, he never has been against the adult service. He's been against about the adult service in the cloud tower. Because, you know, like, Colombia is a free expression. It's not like they can prohibit, you know, like, this this behavior in the country because a lot of people decide that this is what they want to do a lot of like a lot of women you know that's that's what they they deciding for you know like they want to do this for a living they want to offer this kind of job for a living and who 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 we are to just then they can do with the life and with the body whatever they want but like i said the mayor is being already clarified and say that they can do this kind of this this kind of job but this has to be outside of the tourist area and you know like it's been a hit for a lot of guys you know that been coming to the city for that because if you were here before you know like in the cloud tower was like almost everything around but you know like you have all these people promoting that youtubers this this and that many other people and they kind of like fuck it up everything around but i hope you know like they create this soon as, as soon as they can the mayor you know is one of the best mayor in the country like a post you know on the um on the documentary and like i've been saying before the mayor is one i think last month i think like two months ago he was the best mayor in the thai country we had the best mayor and we had the best governor in the area in Cartagena in the department so these people they've been doing a really good job and they've been facing a lot of things they've been working like really hard hard and fast it's my first time ever, you know, since, you know, I was born and raised in Cartagena, if you didn't know. It's, it's my first time ever that I see, like, a mayor working so fast and hard and a governor, like, working fast and hard all the time. You got people building the highways and stuff like that, even in the night. I, I didn't see that. I didn't see that in my entire life in Cartagena till now that we have this mayor, you know, everybody working. And, you know, like, people are happy with the job that he's doing. You know, like, like I mean, at the end of the day, he care. We, he do care. He does care about tourism because Cartagena is a city that like, live like I would say 60, 75 percent of tourism, and then we have the fat tourists. You know, all the things, but majority, you know, like majority of the money that come to the city is is cause of tourism. You know, like a lot of a lot of the locals they don't work. You know, like I would say, like only like thirty percent of locals they work in tourism, but it's a lot of money come for tourism here in Cartagena. You know, thank God. And like I said, guys, you know, like um, I hope you know, like they create this soon because like this woman, they had the right to decide whatever they want, whatever they want to do with the body. Like the mayor said, you know, like he's he's nobody to you know to put them in jail and stuff like that because first of all that's illegal you know other service is something that is still illegal uh it's still legal in colombia so they can prohibit from this money the cloud tower you know stuff like that but you know they can prohibit from the city from the city or from the country like it won't be an easy job because they know also you know it's gonna hit the tourism too because like i've been expressing all the time you know colombia it's not a country that only can offer you other service. Colombia is a magic country. Probably I would say, and a lot of people gonna feel some type of way about this. But Colombia is probably, you know, one of the magic most amazing countries in the world. 
We have so many resources. We have a lot of a lot of nice things in Colombia, you know. The women are, you know, like like at the top of that. But we have, you know, like like I mean, if you trying to do like all the kind of tourism, you know, I never judge people that they trying to like, you know, they come here for girls and stuff like that. I never have fools on top of way about it because it's something like I don't really care, you know. I got my own girl, you know. So I, why, why should I care about what foreigners do with the money, stuff like that? And, and you know, like I don't care about that, you know what I mean? But Fortunately, like, you know, it's not a secret, like, if they prohibit the auto service in Colombia, is going to be a hit, you know, a hit for especially cities like Medellin, you know, like a lot of, a lot of guys, you know, they go over there to require that service, you know what I mean, but like I said, I don't, I'm not here to talk about that, you know, like, just people, you know, I'm just trying to bring the updates, you know, the facts to the channel, also, you know, I'm going to take advantage that now I'm making this video to apologize for the people that feel offended for the last video that I post about, you know, Pastor Bros, you know, a case that I post, it was just a case, you know, I didn't mean to hurt nobody. Fellas, trust me, believe me, you know, like since I created this channel, my idea never was like to hurt people, you know, stuff like that. If you feel offended, again, my apologize, you know, like, like if it seems like a lot of brothers, you know, they are sensitive, you know, like with the cold, with the uh, color skin. I'm black too, you know, I'm not racist, you know, I'm, None of that. My, my mom, you know, we we are not from even like, like my mom is not from Cartagena. They, she emigrated here, but we are from around like Medellin. Like it's a town, like, you know, it's, I, all my majority of my family is black. You know what I mean? Black and tall. So, I mean, well, why would I be racist to, to uh, against, you know, my own color skin? But it seems like a lot of brothers, you know, they sensitive with their color skins. Something that Colombia, black Colombians are not. We are not sensitive with our color skin, you know what I mean? But I respect, you know, like cultures. I respect how everybody thinks. Like I said, you know, like I didn't feel like, you know, it's going to be, it was going to hurt somebody. Because like I said, you know, Colombians, they can tell the difference between like gringos, you know, like, I mean, they got gringos, everybody. I mean, they got gringos, like black americans you know white americans you know europeans people from france people from germany because i mean our country is a country like you know they speak spanish so when they see somebody like you know that they can they can communicate in our language so they automatically with team like this this person is a gringo they like i said they call everybody if you are from Poland, you know, like, so, so anywhere in Europe, they would call you gringo, you know, they can tell, a lot of Colombians can't tell the difference between French and English, and, and, you know, I don't judge them because, you know, in our country, you know, we speak Spanish, so like I say, again, I apologize if, if somebody, if somebody, you know, feel offended, also the portrait of that video, I found that portrait on Google, I told to the, I told to the, the guy, you know, which is a famous YouTuber, I didn't know he was a famous YouTuber, I found this portrait on Google, you know, Google it that i found that you know the portrait so you know i also you know i apologize the guy that created the portrait which is a famous youtuber you know respect you know so much love for him like i said i didn't know this portrait belonged to him so i want to just clarify that i don't have nothing against fast bros you know i don't hate on nobody because you know a lot of i receive a lot of ugly comments you know and, and i respect that you know people were just expressing themselves but i just want to clarify that brother like you know i don't have nothing against the brothers you know i work with a lot of pastor bros and black and the racist none of that you know i'm no hater you know i don't hate the brothers because you know like like I, the only difference between a lot of guys a lot of you know american guys and colombian bro and colombians is like you guys have more money than us but you know like i mean it is what it is you know i mean i don't want to go deep about that you know where i mean i respect my people you know i like you know you guys been supporting me watching my channel you know what i mean so like don't take it personal it was just topic so you know like i just want to clarify that because like I said, when I created this channel, I didn't mean to hurt nobody and against my apologize. So guys, I hope you guys like this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. You know, thanks for everything. None of this would be possible without y'all watching me behind the screen. And I really like that. I really appreciate that, guys. So y'all, see you next time. See you soon. This was Carlos, the Colombian guy. Boom, 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 boom.